good Saturday morning. This is a guy needs no introduction. And usually he's here on Sunday, and he will be tomorrow. But John Eccles, Majority Floor Leader, good to see you. Good to be on. I appreciate you having me, Scott. Here's why I ask you to come on. We started off the session with a lot of what I would call public relations bills that are press releases. They weren't going to go anywhere, and they capture the vast majority of media attention, right? So the workhorse bills, they don't get as much attention. So at the as we round the corner there for the first deadline, tell us, for the people that watch and Oklahomans, is the real important work getting done? It really is. There's a lot of serious work that goes on at the Oklahoma Capitol, especially on the House side. You know, we had the first round of culling of bills. It's down to around 470 bills. There'll be much fewer than that that we send to the Senate and will get signed. But you've got some great workforce development bills that came out of the House. You've got some really strong education bills that are coming out of the House. We're still investing heavily in our DOC officers, trying to do something about what's going on there with DOC, uh, and some great tax reform bills that are coming out of the House. As a general rule, the serious work of the legislature, it's getting done right now. Let's talk a little bit about medical marijuana, all right? And that's something that people, it's such a high profile, but you've been in national newspapers around the country. They look at Oklahoma and they are just laughing at us, right? That's right. Be, and that was not something that I think people forget. Legislature was not responsible for bringing medical marijuana in Oklahoma. That was an initiative. Your thoughts on where this needs to go. I know you tried to get it done last year. It didn't happen. But are we going to see significant reform in that particular industry? The House of Representatives passed a great 10-bill package that we're going to continue to message to the public dealing with regulations of medical marijuana. It's our estimation that if we would go for and the Senate would pass all of these 10 bills, we think we would get rid of half of the, of the groves in the state of Oklahoma that we think are operating illegally. What we're trying to do is create a safe market for those that are following the law. But there was a big deal in the House yesterday when they busted nine different facilities that were tied to Mexican cartels. One of the things I would tell people, and I mean this, if you are doing it illegally, get out of the state of Oklahoma. We are coming for you. We want to make this something that is good for legitimate businesses that are following the law, but we've got a great package. We're coming after the ones that are breaking it. Okay, you guys are trying to build a budget as well. You see what's happening across the pond in terms of what could happen to our energy prices. We also have a United States Senator who's been really big at protecting our bases, our defense industry. How has this impacted what the legislature is doing? Well, it, you, it's impacted it because dominoes are falling all over the place. I mean, if you look at just in the House alone, uh, you have everyone from Representative Dustin Roberts, Majority Leader Josh West, Representative Avery Fricks, all looking at possibly running for the Mark Wayne Mullen seat. That, that talk is out there. Um, you have the dominoes that are falling with who's going to run for the United States Senate seat. Now, for the most part, though, other than the politics of it, the regular business of the House is business as usual. That's what we're going forward and doing. And we're, as that's going to work itself out over the next couple weeks, we'll see which members I have to work with and which are going to be out on the campaign trail campaigning for higher office, and we'll find a way to adjust. Got about 45 seconds left, so let me put you on the spot. One of the things that makes the process run smoothly is when the governor, the pro tem, and the speaker are all getting along, seeing eye to eye on issues. Because in the past, when, it, when they're not, it uh, throws things into disarray. How are we doing on that? Here's what I can unequivocally say. We have three good men running the state of Oklahoma. And having been floor leader for six years, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of when they're getting along and when they're not. Governor Stitt, Speaker McCall, Pro Tim, Greg Treat, yeah, there's policy disagreements. But right, right now, we're getting along great. And that's what's best for the citizens of the state of Oklahoma. There are three men that I believe in. There are three men that I'm, I'm pleased are running our state. And that's the way I hope it goes for the rest of this session. John Eccles, will you come back tomorrow? I think I'll see you then. We've got a little show tomorrow to do. See this again at news9.com slash your vote counts and follow me on Twitter at Mitchell Talks. <laughs>